What's up guys, it's Jeffree Star, and guess what? I'm finally doing makeup tutorials. How long have you guys been telling me to do these? Probably, um, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> the look I'm gonna do for you guys today is a very signature Jeffree Star look. I have been wearing bright blue shadow ever since I can remember, and it's just one of my go-to colors. A lot of people scream and run away from it. I'm like, give me the blue. So today I wanted to do my little, you know, Jeffree crying glitter effect with extreme highlight really bold eyes and give a little soft nude lip so hope you enjoy all right guys i'm gonna be doing a crazy blue glitter fantasy glam look today so to start that i like to put eyeshadow right under my brow and bring it almost all the way down to my lid so with that i'm going to be using the busy art matte palette this is the 01 basic so great so i'm just going to take this really light color it is the lightest one in the palette and I am going to pack that under my brow. Now when we get closer to the lid, I'm going to be using the second lightest nude shade and bringing it all the way down to basically my lash line. So a lot of people like to use primers. This is basically my primer. And we're going to bring it all the way to the tail of the brow and a little past it. Now next up is I'm gonna take this Kat Von D eyeshadow from her Metal Crush collection. This is called Thunderstruck, and I love this shade. You can even use it as a highlighter. I'm gonna pack this on my eyes. So with this MAC 210 brush, I'm going to pack on a lot of pigment. And I'm just gonna take this color and I'm gonna start blending it in the corners of my eye. And I'm gonna bring it down like 30% from my eye. So not in the middle, but a little 30%. Now I'm gonna take this same color and bring it to the top. In case there's any fallout, I'm just gonna lightly brush that away. We have what I like to call the base of the look down. Now I'm just gonna jump right into it and take this bright blue eyeshadow called After Party from Sugar Pill. I'm gonna be blending out the blue with a really light blue from Anastasia called Icy. Now for this look, I'm gonna be using a lot of different eye brushes. We got a lot going on here. So I will be starting with the Morphe 441 brush and I'm gonna be packing it on with this Chanel brush number 19. And then I'm gonna be blending it out a little bit with this Gucci brush, the blending number 20. Let's see what happens. All right, now I'm gonna be taking a MAC 224 brush and I'm gonna be blending the Sugar Pill Blue with the Anastasia IC, both on my brush, so I get a nice, soft blend. Now you may notice that I blow a lot on the brushes. If I was doing someone else's makeup, blowing is prohibited, unless they're paying you extra. But for real, I would only blow on my brushes because they are mine and I can and it is to avoid a lot of fallout because I have all of this pretty foundation on. So if you see me going, that's exactly what I'm doing, I am blowing. Cool, now I'm gonna take the icy shadow by itself and just kind of buff these edges. Now I'm gonna take this Anastasia shadow in Star Cobalt and I'm gonna pack it on a little bit on my lid for some definition. And we're just packing. All right, now we're gonna go back to our blending brush, take a little bit more of that light, light blue on the bristles. And we're just gonna go over the dark so they all come together like besties. There we go. Now before I do the under eye, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Thunderstruck eyeshadow on top so we get a nice glowy blend with the blues. Now we're gonna move under the eyes. 
Now I'm just taking that same Morphe blender and I didn't dip into the eyeshadow again. This is left over, so there is minimal fallout and I'm just gonna start blending the blue into this white gold shadow. I try to do as minimal as I can so there is not a lot of shadow falling all over me. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to add some white liner into my waterline. Whenever I do bright colors, I love to add white because it really makes it pop. You look very artificial, if we will, and very doll-like. This is Max White Fascinating Liner. I am just going to pull my skin down ever so gently and I am going to pack this in. Now I love white liner, I've been using it since the 90s. It is just my go-to. It opens the eye, it brightens, very different. It's a cool effect. And you see me go back and forth a lot, not because the product isn't good, but I like to really pack it in there so it is on all day. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to do some really dramatic lashes from one of my favorite brands, Flutter. This style is called Intoxicating and they are big. I love these. Lashes really transform your entire look, I think. Now I'm going to coat my bottom and top lashes with mascara and my favorite is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I love the bristles. They are perfect for my eyes. Now, this application does not have to be perfect since we are going to cover them. I just don't like when people put on lashes without any mascara and you can see their real human hair showing through or it's just not the same color. Our lashes will never be this black, hence why there is mascara. So let's coat these thoroughly. All right, now when I do lashes, I like to take the strip off and of course I like to measure them to my eyes. So not everyone has crazy big lids to fit these lashes. So I've already pre-trimmed mine a little bit with a little bit of nail scissors. Now, since latex smells like a dirty vagina, I like to use non-latex glue from Duo. So this is the vegan version. So we're gonna make that tacky for a second. Now, sometimes I like to start in the middle and let go so I can, I'm gonna get up and close and personal for a second. These are wow. See the difference of an eyelash? All right, lashes are done. All right, before I highlight, I'm gonna do a little Fix Plus. <sighs> Refreshing, make sure my foundation is there. Now, I've been developing my own highlighters. They are coming out spring of 2016. So, I have a new one. Now, the pan is gonna be a lot bigger than this, but uh, this is one of the shades. It is called Deep Freeze, and it is a baby blue. My highlighters are very pigmented, so it, remember to not pack it on too crazy if it is a wild color. So I'm just gonna lightly dust in the pan and I'm gonna be working it into the skin. Now, how come no one's done a blue highlighter before? I don't fucking know, but it was about time. I'm like, can we have some options here, people? I'm getting bored. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of a highlighter with my MAC 252 and I'm just gonna lightly do a little bit under here. Lightly meaning intense in my world, thanks. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter right on my cupid's bow and bring it down on my lip a tiny bit. So when I put on my lipstick, it really pops. Now I love to cry glitter, so I'm going to use Lit Cosmetics in Tinseltown for that effect. Now you don't need any any glitter adhere anything. I just use my fingertip, that's it and I take it right under my eye where I would cry and I dab a little bit and then I just drag it down over the highlight. All right, now we're gonna do lipstick and we are done. Since my eyes and cheeks are so dramatic, I'm gonna tone down the lip with using my own Velour Liquid Lipstick in shade Celebrity Skin. This is a good everyday color. I'm just going to put it straight on. Voila, we are done. All right guys, that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on my highlighters, what colors you want me to make, and also what kind of looks you want me to do next. I know I have a lot of signature looks 
So I want to go through them all and start creating and be inspired by you guys. So leave me some feedback in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.